Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Doodling with Reverend Jay. In today's episode, we're going to be drawing an eyeball. Now, eyeballs are fun, they're fashionable, and if you can use yours, you're probably using them right now to watch this video. Hi. Let's draw an eyeball. Now, eyeballs are round, so we're going to do what we normally do in these videos when we draw something round. We're going to start by drawing one half of the object and draw it towards us so that we have the most control over the pen. Now we've left the space closest to our hands. For us, it's the right side because it's my right hand and that's what I draw with. And I just copy as best I can the first curve I drew. Try my best to make it meet right in the same spot. That's not terrible. Pretty happy with that, actually. Well, next what we're going to do is we're going to make the pupil of the eye, which is also round. And we'll start just above center like that and make a half circle like that. Next, we're going to make a smaller circle right here. And this circle is small enough that you can probably just draw it freehand like that. And that circle is actually the shiny part that you'll notice in people's eyes when they're alive. It shows you that they're alive. A photographer once taught me that. Taught me that while he was sitting there with 8 by 10s dipping white out in <laughs> liquid paper under the pupils of the eyes of headshots that he had already taken. That's a long time ago, kids. Color in the pupil of the eye. Now, I might get some of the parts of the eye wrong today. Um, I guess a simple Wikipedia search would have given me the information I needed, but if I get any of the terms wrong, just send me a message. Leave a comment, and I'll make a correction somehow, some way, possibly. Next, we're going to make the iris of the eye. And the iris is also a round shape and should go fairly evenly around the pupil. That is above to the left and to the right. This space should be fairly much equal. And that's not great. I'm sure yours is a lot better. Next, we can just make some lines. And this will indicate the color of the eye. And I guess you could say that this eye is blue because we're using a blue pen. And we've limited ourselves to just one pen, so... <laughs> that doesn't look terrible either. Here we go. It looks like we're getting a real eyeball going, aren't we? That's right, computer. A real eyeball. Next, let's put together some of the little veins in the eyes. Those are always a pretty creepy addition to this kind of a thing. And I did look this up. The veins spread out in the direction of the eyes. So we're going to make little branches here, like that. So that you start with one line, it branches off into two, etc., etc. And that's the way the veins in the eyes go. You don't need a ton of them. There you go. Now you're ready to do whatever you want with this eye. You could put it on the side of a private detective's office door, or I don't know. Let's put some wings on it and make it a flying eyeball. And while I do that, just tell me, if you like this video, tell me. Hit, tell me, please, speak into your computer so I can hear everything you say. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button, share it with a friend, subscribe to the channel, and 
I will draw other things, perhaps things that you yourselves request. If you've drawn anything while watching these videos, do me a favor and uh, send me a copy. I'd love to see what you've done. I'm drawing some pretty cheap-ass wings right here onto the eyeball. Uh, you could also perhaps put a top hat onto it. That might be something that you would think is fun. I don't know. So let's see, is this fun? Putting a top hat on an eyeball? I believe it is. I believe that was actually fun and I am glad I did it. Uh, to do the wings, all you do is make a curve, like you're doing the leaf, that shape that we made before. Make a big point, pointy kind of curve and then just make lines under it indicating, I guess, feathering. I don't know. And the hat is just... How do I describe the hat? You know what? I'm going to do a whole video on how to draw top hats. <laughs> Better top hats than this one. Ones that actually look like top hats. So, like I said, it's Reverend J. Goldstein. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, and I guess I'll see you next time. Ta-da!